Hello guys, this is Pavel Skorop from Laravel Daily Team and today I want to quickly tell you about my thoughts about Laravel versus WordPress or in fact it's more like content management systems versus frameworks and there's a lot of confusion on the market uh, among clients especially they don't really know the difference, they only know the keywords They've heard of WordPress, they've heard of Laravel, but what if you have to choose a framework or a system? So for example, client comes to you, they need a website, and you kind of work with both Laravel and WordPress. How do you choose what is better? Or if client wants to use WordPress but you feel it's Laravel, how do you convince them it should be Laravel? So the main difference, how I view it, uh, Content management systems like WordPress, Drupal, Joomla and similar ones, they are for content management. The title itself uh, says a lot. So if the project is about content, like a blog, a portal with news, a company website with uh, like just pages like About Us, Contact and stuff like that, then it's probably a WordPress because you need, it, you need a content management system, a system to manage content whether it's articles or news or, or any content. But if the project is more about data management, so for example, there are users who register, who do some actions, who exchange messages, upload files, change their profiles, uh, interact somehow, like hiring each other or paying for something, then it's totally out of scope uh, from a default content management system. Now, of course, there are plugins and there's a lot of possibilities with WordPress these days, but that doesn't mean you have to choose that system. So, again, uh, I will repeat the main, uh, the main argument for using Laravel over WordPress if it's not a content management system, if it's not a content-driven website. So if it's a web project or data management solution or CRM or admin panel or internal I don't know, accounting software, if it's more like software and not a content management website, then it's Laravel. I hope that argument helps you with the dealing with clients. Subscribe to YouTube channel Laravel Business and also read the blog at laraveldaily.com. See you next time, guys.